What's up, friend? You are you interested in lack of skill? Yeah, or maybe some suck. I'm just a new guy for the love of game. Wait, don't go. I know it's bad. Time to change. Another man. Don't you know the games are my thing? Yeah, I know it's getting real late. Come on, look at me. I even do storytelling. Also, podcasts on great game subjects. Okay, yeah, I'm not a Markiplier or a PewDiePie. <laughs> but hey, that's what makes me so unique, right? 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 Sense because everybody else seems to do that. Everyone seems to be virtuous signaling all across the across across the globe. Apparently, apparently, um, because of Mr. Floyd being killed by a police officer with police brutality, and that has to do with gaming now. It has to do with gaming now, and that bothers me quite a bit. And I'll we'll get to that in a second. Why? Because we're gonna keep it relevant to the topics. So yeah, I haven't noticed a while. I hope you guys are doing okay. This is. Still a tough time for a lot of people. Man, I suck. Oh, better not do that one. Man, I suck. Liar! Liar! Let's face it, the news media time. Liar! Stop right there, criminal scum. Stop right there, criminal scum. Fox, get this guy off me. Okay, okay, pretty much. So, yeah, the world's still a shitty place to be living right now. Well, I'd say less for some because a lot of things are, are still open. And a lot of places are still closed. Well, not, they're trying to open up. So, for me, I've been lucky. been able to work out. Uh, worked out at the gym. You know, those are open. Still, practice, you know, we're practicing safety precautions and everything. Since I work and train there, we're going to be, um, you know, trying to make that money. Trying to make that money, you know, as best I can. Not everybody has the same benefit of doing that. Not all the gyms are open in other states, you know, in America and all that. So, you know, I, it still sucks. And, uh, you know, it was a bummer to deal with it two months in a row. So, anyway, I'm not going to completely talk about this, the pandemic and everything. But just know that, you know, hope you guys are doing okay. 
So yeah, it's uh, it's been a while since I've done an eco show episode. I don't know. It, it's kind of like it's kind of like spur of the moment for me now. So I, I try not to. Uh, I don't know. Liar! Ah, shut up! Shut up, mannequin! You don't know me. You don't know me. My wrinkled shirt. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for everybody stopping by. I'm not gonna be able to read the chat and what it's saying because this is like the talk show part that I used to do. I would never read what the chat says because we don't want to get too distracted by what you guys are saying. No offense. But this will be on the YouTube channel, so you'll be able to see what other people are saying. And because uh, you know, I gotta get gotta get through the, the news articles as fast as I can and more and as accurate as I can. So don't take it the wrong way. But like I said, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope we're all surviving together. And uh, it seems we're not even talking about the pandemic anymore anyway, because it has to do with protests and you know what? They're not even called protests. They're more like just they're just angry rioters, just angry rioters. And we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so yeah. I'm doing okay, and I appreciate everybody who's come to stop by all together uh, to watch me stream and post my videos. It means a lot. So, like I said, we can get through this together. So, I'm, I'm pretty excited to do this. This is, like I said, this is the Triggered Edition. The Triggered Edition. We can dance. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. To you back. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Becky. Bye. So... There's going to be a lot of sensitive topics we're going to talk about. At least the first two articles we're going to read, and then the rest are pretty fun from here on out. But I just want to get it out of the way because, like I said, uh, all I did was type up video game news, you know, and everything. And the course just has to come up. So it's very topical. Uh, and I'll do my best to explain my point of view. A lot of you don't care about what I have to think anyway, but, you know, I don't give a fuck about what you guys have to think about my opinion. It doesn't matter. Uh, somebody out there will listen, somebody will relate. There's always somebody out there who's going to show support, so whether you like it or not. But as, you know, it's either you like it or you don't, you believe me, blah, 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 no matter. I, like, I'll throw all the facts at you, uh, any type of statistic, and you'll still be, you'll still refuse to believe it. So it's just the type of world we live in these days, because apparently people just have to be so stubborn that it ha they have to bend over backwards to understand or just, or just play, just be plain belligerent. Whatever. So... Let's start it right away. This is a terrible, terrible article to start with, but that's, you know, we gotta. I gotta already go out of the bag. Gotta already. Okay, that's not what I wanted. We gotta already. Sweaty a producer! Gotta already go out of the bag. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so. Video game companies announced delays, pledged support of protest. Yes. Okay, yep. <laughs> Stop right there, criminal scum! Fox! Get this guy off me! Hey, you get off him! You fucking get off him! You you do it! You do it! Stop that! Headshot. Stop. Hey, come on! Too soon! Too soon! Okay, so like I said, it's gonna start off with the bang already. Video game companies and delays pledge support of protest. Okay, I already had to deal with one stream today doing Black Lives Matters donations. Yeah, that's really great. Let's just shoehorn that in to show that you're really sensitive about what happened. <sighs> Jesus Christ, you can't just keep out politics and video games and politics. They just, it's like science and religion. They just don't mix well. Just keep it out. Keep it out. Oh, crap. Hold on a second. <laughs> That's a bummer. You know why? It's because it's not live. Oh, spooky. Wow, this would have helped. Ah, uh, yes, man. Out of sight, out of mind. Already starting off pretty bad. I'm like on the wrong foot here. On the wrong foot here, but that's okay, man. Man, I suck. This monster's gonna help me reach my future. <laughs> oh, okay, so now I sound a lot better. Well, that's probably good, because I probably just clipped like a bunch of times as I'm in my boxers right now. So, okay. Now, bear with me. I know there's a lot of you that are supposedly really angry about this and posting all this virtue signaling stuff on Twitter, social media about hashtag Black Lives Matters and... This and that, you know, demanding justice, racial injustice, blah, blah, and like, uh, talking about video games with this stuff in it, and I can't even go on Twitter without seeing gamers, literature, literary people, educational people, people I follow, like, political people, like, it, it's just everywhere. It's like, it, I'm not trying to translate this street, uh, this episode into completely about the riots and stuff. Trust me, I'm not. It's just topical. It relates to this. Just setting up the foundation. I can't even go on any on on Twitter at all. Like Twitter was bad enough as it is, 
And I admit, I probably make it bad because of the people I follow, right? But I'm not going to just stop following people because they have different point of views. I'm not a piece of shit like that. I'm not a pussy. I don't block people like that, you know, unless they're being completely scummy to me. And then I'm like, okay, well, fuck you. You know, like, I'm not dealing with a negative situation like that. But you say what you want. It's fine. But it's like the virtue signaling is so annoying. It's like, especially gamers. Gamers, stop being so... Stop with the virtue signaling, okay? Just stop. <laughs> like it's so aggravating that it's like, oh well, gotta not do any research on what's going on out there. But oh, this person died. This person died. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the media when when it talks about white people. I mean, when it talks about let's see when um what, what do they do? They they shoot. <laughs> they shoot. They talk about, um, oh, that's right. Yeah, if if, they, if it's a white person, they just say person. You know, they don't say what, what color they are. But if it's a black guy, they say black guy right away. And they just had to make it into a thing, you know. Yeah, I'm going to be like that, apparently. No, I'm not. Anyway, so let's get on to the topic or the article. And we'll see how long we can last through this without someone throwing pitchforks at their screen or torches. So, <clears throat> This is from Bazinga. I've never even been on this site at all, but bear with me. Here we go. Okay, as protests continue after the death of George Floyd, many planned events in the video game community have been postponed as a st stand in solidarity. <clears throat> what about the what about the Hong Kong protests? Did they did any of these guys delay any of that shit? No, 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 no. That's fine. You know, fine. You know, no one delayed anything for those kind of riots and protests. No, no. Only happens when one individual gets killed by, I admit, a scummy cop. Okay. A scummy cop. But you know what? It doesn't justify these rioters using it as his, this poor man's death. I don't know his track record. I'm, I don't know if he's a criminal or anything. I don't know if he's you know, a straight shooter. But you know what? All in all, it doesn't justify these rioters going out, injuring other people despite their anger, injuring people, burning down buildings, and stealing stuff. No, 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 no. That's not what you're supposed to do. That's not, that's not the answer. It's, it's, it's like fixing violence with even more violence. How does that make sense? Not to try to sound like a hippie here, but you, you guys are fucking stupid. You guys are stupid. So, <clears throat> While the choice to delay has been received with mixed opinions, of course, it's a positive movement to help ignite change. Uh-oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! Oh, you would. You would. Because we know a lot of these journalists are left-leaning... Left-leaning motherfuckers. Gotta fight for the cause. Don't want to step on each other. Let's all just work together. And then, boom! Guess what? That's not how the world works. The world's a cruel place. Deal with it. And we all know these big tech companies are all left-leaning. They all follow the same philosophy. They don't want to step on any toes. They want to, you know, they want to fight for change. We've been fighting for this change for how long? And we're still at, we're still at fucking ground zero? It's not going to get any better when people keep, you know, with horrible deaths like, horrible, horrible death. I'm not going to pluralize. Horrible death like this. And then you guys make it into the biggest thing on the fucking planet. Social media, greedy, fucking attention-grabbing bastards, okay? Absolutely ridiculous. All, all for the views, all for the, all for the, you know, the, the money, okay? <sighs> PlayStation 5, the future of gaming postponed. Sony Corporation is one of the major companies to announce delays. The future of gaming planned for June 4th was the first event to order, to offer details of the PlayStation 5 since the company's deep dive presentation. While we understand gamers worldwide are excited to see PS5 games, we do not feel that right now is the time for celebration. Man, I suck. Fox, get this guy off me. Oh my god. <sighs> the nerve of these people. And for now, we want to stand back and allow more important voices to be heard. Sony stated on the PlayStation. Sony. <laughs> Fucking Sony. Stop right there, criminal oh scum. my god. <laughs> that makes me laugh so hard. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? This is the this thing right here. 
one black guy gets shot, and this is why you stop? This is the excuse you have to stop your whole thing? Aren't you in dire straits as it is from the pandemic? Don't you remember the pandemic, Sony? Don't you remember that you're getting fucked over in the ass from this? Yeah, that's right. Nico's uncensored on this shit. Unfiltered. So deal with it. Aren't you just done getting done in the ass by the pandemic? By the, by the Wu flu? The China flu? Ah, oh, Nico, that's racist. It's the COVID. It was made in China. It came from China. It's the China flu. So suck it up, buttholes. Oh, my God. The amount of sensitivity around this shit is ridiculous. You want to know something? You want to know what's ridiculous about this? I went like this. I said how to a co-worker at my gym yesterday, and she was sensitive about it. She was, I was like, in my mind, I, I was like, okay, I'll keep that in mind. But in my mind, I was like, I'm fucking saying hello in a different language. Why is that, why does that make you sensitive? <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous. So ridiculous how people are so uptight about all this. Do you know that there's white people that get shot by black people all the time? Hmm? Game violence? What about game violence? Huh? 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 Yeah. Look at the statistics on that. Fact check me on that. Talk, t please, talk to me about that. Talk about the black on uh, white violence, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah I'll stay on topic, Nico. We're talking about Sony right now. Okay. Okay. In America, I'm talking about. Okay. So far, Sony has re only revealed the DualSense controller and covered the specifications of the new console. The postponed event has planned plans to showcase the lineup of games that could be played after the PS5's launch this holiday season. They've only shown us a controller. Man, I suck. A controller. We haven't seen what the fucking console looks like. And it's, ju it's June. June. And it's supposed to come out this year? Oh my god. So stupid. So stupid. Absolutely the worst marketing decision ever made. Oh my god. I, I, I can't. Why is it the worst marketing decision? Because like I said, you're already being financially fucked. Okay. Nintendo is doing great. Nintendo is making a gazillion dollars, millions of dollars from the pandemic <laughs> because everybody wants a Switch. That's why they're charging like up the wazoo with the Switch. The, people have fucking bots to buy Switches being that uh, once they get stocked in stores and online retailers. Bots to buy that shit. I don't think so. I don't think people are doing that for Sony. Okay. If they are, I would like to know. Let me know. Anyway, uh, we all want to, to own... Wait, what? Hey, hold on a second. What is this shit? Wait, what? That was it? Oh my god, this is a terrible article. What? That was, that was seriously it. Uh, wow, okay. Um, okay, so I guess we'll just dive into it. Look, I understand that you want to show respect, but why delay... An event like this when we've been delaying as enough as it is if you want to show support don't make it it's not making you insensitive to advertise a great looking console that's not that's not bad it could bring joy to people if you actually have common sense and rationality you know but some people like to be uh oh retard alert retard alert class yeah no contest. It's just, it seriously is no contest. Like, Sony could take, could have taken this opportunity and be like, hey, we understand there's some crazy shit going out in the, in America, or just in the entire world with the pandemic still. Not just America. I don't want to be so selfish and self-centered like that. Because, I mean, I've already discussed enough as it is. <laughs> Trying to focus here. But this would be the best time for them to come out and be like, hey, we want to give you this console, and we want you to give you some exciting news about the future. No, the future's got to be, no pun intended, dark. <laughs> it's got to be fucking dark, and keep it dark with the negativity. Honestly, my opinion, Sony has made, this is a horrible marketing decision to delay this, because it is It's June. Don't be, imagine the pitchforks and the torches already lined up when they announced that the console's going to be delayed like release date don't be surprised people don't be surprised because a little sh excuses like this using the world's excuses for their benefit to be delayed a sh cra you know, crazy rioting black lives matter 
the pandemic, whatever, China flu. Unbelievable. But like I said, they don't delay any ship because of the Hong Kong protesters. No, no, no. Or anything else, right? Anything else. No. It's, you know, we'll use this as our scapegoat. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Stupid. I wish there was more to tackle in this article, but it's really fucking... I don't... I don't I, it's pathetic. All right. We're going to go to the next thing. Jeez. <sighs> okay. Okay. This... <coughs> this is by Vice. <coughs> This is exactly what we were just talking about. This is okay. This is the last time that the dark articles happened. This is, and then I won't have to talk about the stupid, fucking, crazy. Well, sorry, not to, not to be so insensitive, but the riots that are going on. They're, I, they're stupid because it doesn't deserve to have buildings being burnt down, people being injured. There's more of a death count now than there was from the Floyd incident, like when as he got killed. That's one. Now it's like all these injuries. All this crime you shot up like over a thousand percent. It's crazy. As a made-up statistic, don't quote me on that one. <sighs> Couldn't they just take it out on Call of Duty or something? Couldn't they have this fucking not watch the stupid goddamn media and just play Grand Theft Auto or something? I don't fucking know. It, it's crazy. It, people get brainwashed so easily. It's it's really sad. Stop right there, liar! Stop. This is why you don't watch it. It's just, Smash 101. Smash 1v1. Sorry, I, I know I said earlier I wasn't reading the chat, but that that just popped up in my layout. So the video game industry has no clue on how to respond to protests. By the way, this is the first time I'm not playing music. I'm kind of being inspired by my uh, this f funny as hell, straight down the middle, straight to the point guy, Nick DiPaolo show. Super funny guy. You should check him out on YouTube. He's a hilarious Italian guy, but he knows his politics and stuff. He's a great guy, and he gives you he just gives you the bare bone truth. And it's funny. He's so funny. Anyway. So I kind of was inspired by him. So thanks, Nick. Appreciate that. Well, we both have the name Nick. How about that? So the video game industry has no clue how to respond to protests. How about nobody knows how to respond to protests? That's unfortunate. Right? The statements of solidarity with the black community have all come too little too late. <laughs> yeah, too bad. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. Not the blacks! Like I said... Because violence is not violence fixed with violence. You know, you know what they say: two wrongs don't make a right. So, what are we doing here? What are we doing wrong? Anyway, as protests against police brutality and anti-black racism has arced across the United States, video game industry has been slow to show its solidarity with black people in the community. When they do, some of these statements are shy of showing an actual commitment to the cause. Uh, okay, what about Sony canceling their thing? Um, what about Activision saying that they, they don't try to get political and then they post something political about Black Lives Matter? Um, okay, fucking dummy. Gita, oh my god, do your research. Video game development studios were behind the curve in terms of releasing a statement about the protest. We started to trickle in on Monday, last week and into the weekend. Corporations like Amazon and Peloton, Peloton, I've never heard of that, which made makes bogey exercise bikes. Released their memos to to cry and racism. Joining them, EA released a statement about both aligning with the protesters and postponing its Madden announcement stream, coinciding with a statement from the NFL. Oh my God! Like, oh my God! Oh my God! Uh oh! Retard Man. alert! Liar. Liar. Retard Liar. alert! Liar. Liar. Okay, first of all, why do they have to issue a statement? Why? Why do these big tech companies feel like they? Oh, oh shit! This thing's going on. Oh fuck! I gotta. Oh, what do we do? Shit! It's been like one day. We're fucking late. Why do they have to say something? Why is it their responsibility? I don't understand. I don't want them to say anything because when they say something, they're hypocritical about it. Like this whole Activision thing. They said they weren't gonna ever get involved in politics, and they fucking did. The liars. Sony. All the way in Japan. Fucking Sony. <laughs> oh god, the hypocrisy. It's ridiculous. I can't I can't take it. It's so bad. It's so bad. They're late. Okay, let's let's say let's say okay, hear me out on this. Why is it too late for them to say something? Because they're big tech companies, so this like this uh, this journalist is obviously stupid because she expects these big tech companies to be like, I want you to say something, say something, please. I need you to I need to verify that you guys are responsible. 
Who the fuck? What? No. That's not how big biz businesses work. Y you know, they probably only said something because there was enough people bitching about it and complaining. You like how my head's cut off? That's right. You guys don't care about my face anyway. Who cares? But I'm just saying, like, this is... This is ridiculous. This is crazy. And it's just like... Like, even IGN did it, but who cares about IGN? I'm, like I said, all big tech companies... They're so freaking, they're all left-leaning liberals anyway. They don't want to make anybody mad. They always side with the supposed injustice of the world. And I'm like, okay, I get it. He was a bad cop. He was a douchey cop. But there are plenty of great cops out there, okay? Remember the statistic? There are more black cops that shoot white people in America. Look up that fucking statistic. I fucking dare you, internet. But no one bats an eye about that. No, no. It's just, it's just the past repeating itself. History repeats itself with the same Black Lives Matters, all these angry people doing the same stuff, stopping traffic in the road, smashing your fucking windows, throwing bricks through your stores, taking your stuff, hurting your children, your family. Yeah, that sure matters. They sure matter. Uh, yeah, that's great. Now you, the fucking, I don't even think Malcolm X was this violent with, with his, and he's supposed to be the extremist, and, and MLK was supposed to be like the nice guy. MLK would be rolling in his fucking grave, and you guys have the nerve to quote that man? Motherfucking shit. Look, I want us all to be on the same page here. I don't want anybody getting shot unruly, unfairly. It's a very unjust, unjustified way of dying. The cop was an asshole, I admit. But not all cops are like that. Barely, you know? It's just people abusing power. It's not white supremacy. Don't make me bring up the fact statements of black cops on white violence or just uh, blacks uh, killing whites, okay? So anyway, let's get back to this. Let's get back to this. Nobody was looking for the brands to solve civil unrest with messages of healing and hope. Their statements are, of course, all empty and hypocritical gestures. Well, kind of like what I was just saying. Platone gave $500,000 to the uh, NAACP's Legal Defense Fund. I don't know what the fuck that means. Am I supposed to know? National African American something something, I'm guessing. Thanks. Let me just assume, am I racist because I don't know every fucking Black Lives Matter organization? Whatever, I guess so. Man, I suck. So, <clears throat> which is a drop in the bucket for a company that sells exercise bikes for over $2,000. Amazon declared that it believes Black Lives Matter only a few days after firing and then unfiring a woman of color who stayed home from work to protect her children from COVID-19. The company also, okay, just, ha just got to put it woman of color. Just... Just say black person. Just say it. Just fucking say it. Don't be... Oh, my Lord. Don't beat around the bush. The commissioner of the NFL said that he sees the protesters' reactions to these incidents reflect the pain, anger, and frustration that so many of us feel, and I had to laugh knowing that Colin Kaepernick has essentially been blacklisted from the game for his own silent protest. Uh, yeah. Colin Kaepernick is a fucking... He's the same way. He's not helping anyone. He's not doing anything. He's a shitty player, and he kneels. He's un he's doing unconstitutional things. I I get it. It's his it's maybe or disrespectful things to the Constitution. And, you know, it's his right to you know sit there, but nobody wants him. And then he goes and starts virtue signaling about about the same shit, but unjust. He doesn't do any of his research. It doesn't do anything. He complains about some guy who's racist. Talks about Trump being racist and all that. Xenophobic. Listen, guys, that shit's been all debunked. No, it is. You go, blah, blah. He, he said this at this one rally, blah, blah, blah. Okay, emotional responses? There we go. But facts are facts. Look it up. You'll find it. Look up look up The Untruth of Donald Trump by Stefan Manu. Watch Steven Crowder and watch Nick DiPaolo. Boom. Three solid resources that people that do their fucking homework. And, and, the links are usually, the links are always below for Stefan Manu. Anyway, I'm just saying, that um, it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous on how much of a thing this is. This has become because the guy was black. That's it, and he was treated unfairly. I get it. Treated unfairly. Still, the gestures matters. It means that these companies know they need their black audience to survive. Oh my God! Their black audience to survive. <laughs> what about the gang violence? Sorry, I'm clipping. What about the gang violence in the big cities? The metropolis is New York, black on black violence, New York, Los Angeles, uh, Chicago, oh, Detroit, oh my fucking God. 
That's like a that's no problem. Black on black violence, but when it's a white on black person, oh my fucking god, it is the end of the world. Oh my god, you guys are ridiculous. But if it's but if it's a black on white person, it's fine. Media will never talk about that. CNN, MSNBC, CBS, whatever you want to talk about, Fox News, whatever they don't. No, it's not all about that. Still, the gestures matter. Okay, um, it means they know that in order to keep black people buying their shit. What? They need... Oh, hold on. So the gesture matters. It means that the companies know they need their black audience to survive. Yeah. I'm sure black people have been pretty good playing video games for a long time. All my black, all my black friends that I've known throughout my life never had a problem with playing video games. And they didn't... Sa- it didn't feel like they needed to survive off of them. It's really, really stupid statement. It means they know that in order to keep black people buying their shit. At first, why is this person swearing now? I don't get it. I'm not offended by swear words because who fucking cares? But it's like, you, it's like she getting a little emotional about this. They need to eat a little bit of crow in public. Once again, baseless statements, uh, sounding smarter than you actually are. Based on the responses from game development studios that I've seen, it doesn't seem like they believe that. The statement from tabletop game company Wizards of the Coast, Wizards of the Coast, exemplifies the issues. We stand in solidarity with those fighting racial injustice. We support those who are using their voices to affect systematic change, uh, make their communities better places to live, and invest um, in the citizens and leaders of tomorrow. Wizards of the Coast will be making charitable donations to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. My Brothers Keeper Alliance and Black Girls Code. Okay, great. It's even more of a race and sex thing now. Of course, those who can donate, support, and engage organizations with your community and with each other. What about <laughs> what about the donations for the people that were involved in the riots? The people that got injured? The people were sent to the hospitals? The people's businesses were broken in? The, the buildings that were burnt down? Churches were burnt down? The people were getting more hurt and injured, caught in the crossfire. That doesn't solve anything. Why do people want to support that? That's the ty- This is the type of shit that gets me every time. Look, hate me all you want, but this shit is ridiculous. <laughs> it's crazy. Absolutely fucking crazy. Oh my god. Headshot. Fox, get this guy off me. I'm trying. I can't do any more barrels because the voice actor's dead now. Nowhere in this statement are black people mentioned. The company talks about donating to black-centric charities, but it doesn't say how much and it doesn't say why. Neither does it mention police brutality or George, George Floyd's name at all, which feels weird when the protest is being done in his name. Yeah, sure. Sure it's done in his name. <clears throat> Just what a fucking excuse to get to steal things and burn shit down. What a fucking excuse to go crazy. It's like the fucking, oh man. It's, a, it's as vague as a statement could possibly be. If you were to read this without knowing the news, you'd think that Wizards of the Coast, which is generally saying that racism is bad. The community manager for Wizards acknowledged that this statement was late. And also the difficulty of crafting such a statement for a collective of people. At the same time, I'm sorry it's hard, but it's literally the bare minimum. Well, that's what I'm saying. All these big tech companies, all these nerdy companies are all pussies. They don't want to say it. They don't want to say they don't want to say because they don't want to offend people. They just want to sound generally good. They don't want to get down to the nitty gritty. So I, I, I understand that this, look, I, I understand what this person's trying to say. I completely get it. This person was dealt a bad hand, unfortunately. You know, sorry about the bad pun. And they wouldn't even say his name. They wouldn't even say his fucking name. They wouldn't even say the cop's name or anything like that. But, but that's where it should end. That's that's it. Now it's this whole crazy uh, across the country thing. It's absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy, you know. An- another strike against cops because of this sp- supposed injustice, right? Because this one asshole douche had to shoot uh, a black guy. I'm not trying to belittle the situation. I'm just making you guys realize how fucking in- insane this is. If, when you actually follow people to trust online, like I mentioned, three names, you can say that you don't like them anyway. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if you say I'm conservative or anything. I don't fucking give a shit. They have the facts, though. If you're getting your news from social media and the news on TV, you're an idiot. 
You're an idiot. Do your homework for once. Do your homework. Now, it may sound a little hypocritical, but I do follow people politically on Twitter, and you will see that I like people's statuses. But these are people that I actually trust, okay? These are people that I've been following for a long time. And you know what? People can make that same argument. Good for you for what you believe in. But they have facts. Sorry? No emotion? There are less emotion than these freaking, um, what is it called? Um, oh my God, what is it called? Not attention sneakers. Uh, virtue signaling motherfuckers. Everybody loves doing that on Twitter. I, I can't stand it. Even the people on my side are virtue signaling. I can't fucking stand it. It's just everywhere. It's just everywhere. If anybody that you should follow uh, in the in the black community is Candace Owens. She fucking knows her stuff, man. She is an amazing black woman. Beautiful, too. Liar. No, I'm not lying. I swear to God. She's great. Anyway. So, here we go. Continuing. Bungie's statement from yesterday similarly names racism, but not anti-black racism, nor police brutality. It does provide... Okay, like I said, it was... I don't know exactly if it was black racism just because a black guy died, but police brutality? Yes. It does provide links for people to educate themselves, including links to black-centric charities, and the company commits itself to supporting its own black community, which is nice. What is this charity for, by the way? What are these charities for? Are they going to explain it? Oh, Nico, you should do research and check out what these charities... No, because they're all going to say the same fucking thing. That's sketchy. Is it for the family that was affected? Was it for George Floyd's family? Is that who it's for? Or is it just for the black community itself? Just for them to get money? What? Fucking direct deposit that shit through a fucking PayPal to George Floyd's, like, family or something, if he has any, or relatives, if they're, you know, clean, or if they have a pretty solid crim not not criminal record, you know? Not that I shoot myself in the foot already. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. Check this shit out. This is where it gets good. But part of the reason for the protest is to honor the memory of George Floyd and other black people killed by cops. Other other black people. Remember what I said? There is more black cops shooting white people than white cops shooting black people. Okay? Okay, just, just look it up. Just, just look up the statistic. You'll be blown away. There's more black on white violence than white on black violence by a lot. So many black people have been killed by the police and then forgotten. No, they haven't been forgotten or else why would they be so fucking angry right now? You think this is just because of one person, one black person dying? No, no, no. Nobody remembers hands up, don't shoot. No one remembers that shit. I'm not trying to be racist here. No one remembers that shit. No, we all had to deal with that, right? There's plenty of people, black people that died that led to the same type of outcome. Okay, same story, same song dance. One person died, it's supposed to, it was unjustified, like the whole Zimmerman thing. Remember the whole Zimmerman case? Okay. Oh my God. That was, that was crazy. So it's absolutely, it's absolutely bonkers. No, you guys are keep reminding us with this anger and death and violence. Okay. <sighs> Another statistic. Another statistic. Fucking post the statistics then if you want to talk about it. You know, like I, I'm not afraid to say fact check me on this shit, but you, you will find if you, if you know how to do proper research, you will find that I am right. Okay, so many black people have been killed by the police and then forgotten. Like I said, no one, they have not been forgotten because it's still accumulates. It's still adding to the shit pile. Um, either another statistic or smears criminals after death. Okay. Not acknowledging the origin of this outcry is dodging the real reasons why these protests have been so explosive. Oh, is that what it is? Is that... Is that what it is? We, we've been dodging the real reasons? Um, I'm pretty sure nobody's been dodging them because you got people like you keep bringing this shit up. You guys keep this anger alive. The people that keep fighting in these, in these riots, I, they're not even protests. They're riots. They're fucking riots. You know what was a protest? When a bunch of white people were standing in front of a, a law firm building uh, demanding for places to reopen during the pandemic. Nobody was killed. Nobody was hurt. That's a pro proper protest. These aren't protests. Don't give these violent people benefit of the doubt like that. I'm sorry. 
I'm fucking sorry. See, this is why I'm not going to get popular on YouTube, but go hard truth, whatever. Somebody out there will understand what I mean. Somebody will work with me if I miss a few facts here and there. I appreciate it. So, but even when the company's name the issue still doesn't hit right, I'm glad that Ubisoft specifically named George Floyd and sy systemic racism, but one of the largest companies in the industry is giving less money to the NACP than a fancy exercise bike. And now, and how can I trust anything they say about anything while they use their license of Tom Clancy's work to make games about DAA agents shooting up drug cartels and American sleeper cell agents taking back the streets from looters and violent Riker inmates? <sighs> Nobody wants to look at the big picture. What is missing from the statement is an admission of complacency either through silence or some through some really obvious action. How can I trust that Activision Blizzard supports their, these protests when Blizzard suspends players for speaking out about the protests in Hong Kong last year? Where protesters who were also beaten up by cops. How am I supposed to believe EA? It, okay, first of all, you know, it's like you, you when push comes to shove, if you fuck with a cop, they're going to push back. Why are you going to poke the hornet's nest? You fucking idiots. How am I supposed to believe EA's delay in madness announcements because it cares about Black Lives when it censored Camper Nick's name in the song in their last game? I am happy to see and hear the solidarity, but the games industry has to clean its own house too and admit that it's part of the problem. They're a part of the problem? Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! They are a part of the problem. Are you fucking serious? How about because they? it's awkward? How about they don't feel comfortable about it because no matter what they say, they're going to be fucked in the ass anyway by you fucking liberal-ass SJWs. They're the problem? You guys are the fucking problem making it awkward for everybody by keeping this fucking hate alive, by pointing blame on everybody. Oh, my Lord. <sighs> it's an awkward situation for everybody. But you know what? It's it's the most awkward and shitty situation for Floyd's family. I don't know their background, so I can't... You know, it sucks. It does suck. But, you know, his family, he could have been... I need to watch, like, Stefan Mo, The Truth About George Floyd. But we're just... I'm being like everybody else, right? I'm going by what's on the surface. I'm just going by what people tell me, right? I'm just... Surface details. So don't crucify me when you're doing the same exact fucking thing. You're not doing what I'm doing looking at articles right now. You're fucking going by what social media is telling you. So I have a, I have a leg up on you, motherfuckers. Man, I suck. That's right. Boom! Boom! My weak muscles prove it. <laughs> Told you this is the triggered edition. So anyway, hate me all you want. YouTube, YouTube and, and Twitch already hate me. I don't even care. I'm in the fucking, I'm on their shit list, their hit list. I don't fucking care. I don't care. And if you... One of you out there watching you. All right. So enough about that. We can go on this for forever. It, it, look, it's a shitty situation. The delay, more delays is just dumb. It's stupid because we've already been dealing with that enough. Like I said, Sony delaying and, um, you know, because of what's going on, you know, it has nothing to do with them. It's really awkward. And compared to the pandemic, that had absolutely everything to do with them because they were more at risk that way. But um, it's just crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. So, guys, just stay in your fucking house again, you know? Like, thank God I don't live in big cities like that. I would, this is why I don't live in big cities because you have crazy motherfuckers out there. I was about to say crazy, stupid people. You have crazy people out there that feed off of anger they feed off the hate that you're fed through the social media and the news people be lying to you change my mind change my mind i don't want to keep beating a dead horse it's you know it's an annoying as it is so let's move on to something more positive yes positive yes 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 okay Look, CNN actually cares about video games now. Remember when the news didn't give a fuck about video games? Oh, now it's okay. Now we understand. I can't believe they had a really... I can't believe there was an article proving that video games are actually not bad for you. I can't believe we've fucking gotten this dumb. This is how stupid human civilization is. We are so fucking stupid. This is why people don't like humans. Humans don't like humans. I don't wish for genocide on the human race. But I lose respect for humans each fucking day. Each motherfucking day because people are so emotional, so upsetty spaghetti. <laughs> upsetty spaghetti, that probably ruined my whole validity. But whatever, I don't care. Hey, 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 it's my show. I suck. Hey, shut up. I'm doing something here. 
And now that and now it's like people flip the script all the time. People, I mean, I understand people get different mindsets. You know, they get they talk to other people, they get different opinions. But, I, but I'm just kidding. We live in a perfect world, right? No, we don't. It's either your their way or the highway, or my way or the highway. Like I said, nobody cares about what I have to say, really. Does it help that I'm a snowflake and a straight white male uh, tr Trump voter? Oh no, I'm evil. You know, I was at this, uh, before we get to this last article, because we're pretty close to an hour. <laughs> uh, I told you, it was going to take a while to get through those articles. So I was at this rocket launch from SpaceX slash NASA operation, joint operation, you know, about people going to the to fucking outer space finally. It was awesome to see it and see the launch from, from my balcony or from my friend's balcony. And, um... You know, it's like there's this one lady there, one chick I just met. She's, she's pretty nice, but she doesn't like Trump or whatever. And she didn't want to say something hurtful or something that she didn't like about him because she was worried about what other people think because she's fucking PC as shit, you know? And I'm like, go ahead and fucking say it. I'm not a little bitch to hear it. I understand it. Whatever. I voted for him. You don't like him, you don't like him. I'm not going to fucking be like, oh, you're a piece of shit. I already have a general idea of what her viewpoints are, but I'm not going to fucking hate on somebody. Like, how, how petty do you think I am? I'm not, I'm not you, you know? Anyway, anyway. You know, and it's, after the launch happened, she mentioned something about him being in town and stuff, and she, like, had to say something snarky about it. And, you know, I thought of myself, I'm like, look, when Obama was in, like, I don't, I don't like um, Obama. He was, to me, he was the worst president. Whatever, crucify me. All you want, I don't care. He was definitely the worst president. Um, unemployment was at the second highest it's ever been in America. Yeah, good job. Um, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. good. And then it's been the highest since Trump's been in office for the past four years. Obviously, it's kind of plummeted a little bit, or quite a bit, because of the pandemic. Thanks to the people in the House that didn't want to, you know, pass any bill certain bills to help us get back on our feet. Good job, Pelosi. Anyway... So when Obama was in town, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool because he's still the president. Even if I didn't like him, I wouldn't be like, no, 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 fuck this guy, piece of shit. I don't want to say anything bad about Obama because he's black or something. Like, stupid. Anyway, that's my little little spiel there. I'm just saying it's like, it's, it's PC. So PC how everybody is. I hate it. Say it in my face. Do it. Sometimes I just have to sit there and just hear the people bicker about politics like they know everything oh my god it's ridiculous even when i'm working out these old fucking people have to be talking about politics while working out it's unbelievable 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 oh man and just you know it's this either you like trump or you don't not to make this whole end part even more political but guess what guys i can't wait till he wins again ah yeah he's gonna win again motherfucker oh oh I will have the last laugh. Boom. Boom. So eat shit and die. <laughs> so anyway, it's just pe people just assume everybody's a Trump hater because people make jokes about him. And I'm like, I voted for him. And I love the guy. Whatever. I don't care if you don't like his personality. A lot of people don't like his personality, but I still voted for him. He says some stupid shit. Just like, I mean, we're human beings. Everybody says stupid shit. But... All right, last article. Here we go. Before the pandemic, video games were a weekend-only activity in our house, allowed for one hour a day, Saturday and Sunday. What? See, this is how bonkers CNN is. Um... Fox, get this guy off me! What are they talking about? For real. Before the pandemic, video games were a weekend-only activity in our house, only for one hour. What? Where did you base that off of? What the fuck? Where did you even base this off of? Is this by her? This must be a her. This is, okay. This must be her experience. It was a compromise that worked for our family. My seven-year-old kid had a chance to dig into his favorite games. We parents felt like we were putting reasonable limits on, the, on an activity about which we were somewhat ambivalent. Oh, how about restrict them on your stupid political views? <laughs> Stop having watching your stupid piece of shit network that anybody who watches CNN is a fucking little potato. This absorbs all, uh, like a little fucking potato sponge absorbs all that garbage. Oh my god. But now he's playing them daily. I wouldn't have it any other way. Wow. Uh, wow. Big fucking surprise. Wow. You're really uh, you're grown up. 
in this lonely pandemic world, okay, it's not that lonely because the internet and friends and phones, so extra. We still want our kids to get together and play, and they do it too. Unlike us boring grown-ups, they don't get much out of chatting, group text, or through FaceTime, or even those through Zoom meetings. Is this like a fossil or something? This has got to be a fossil. Fossil of a fucking person. They want to enter collective imagined spaces and to discover the elastic possibilities that await. Only they're somewhat deep in the unreal there. Are they likely to start exploring, creating, and importantly, connecting? <sighs> the ignorance. The ignorance. It's not even bliss here. The ignorance of these old fucking boomers. Like most kids around the world, it's been a long time since my son has been able to battle bad guys, travel to faraway lands, or rescue animals with his friends in person. But thanks to video games, all is not lost. Nearly every day for an hour, he joins his friends online to explore, create, and connect in a video game like Minecraft and the non-violent, more adorable Animal Crossing. <laughs> Peter will have something to say about that. <laughs> the video game Animal Crossing enables kids to engage in open-ended play. Oh, but I thought video games cause violence. <laughs> Duh. Pipe down. You're dead in lava somewhere. Characters can fish, catch bugs, and fossil hunt. Wow, video games are really useful. These aren't the perspective goal-oriented games from my youth, in which there were levels and a single objective, Super Mario Bros. Instead, they, they're sandbox games in which players have freedom to roam around extensive worlds, figuring out their own goals, and finding their own way. Yes, it's virtual, not real. Still, these video games remain one of the only ways our kids can learn the kind of social-emotional lessons that they're otherwise missing out on right now. The pandemic has given us a chance to see benefits of video gaming. They're significant in something. Fear not, son. I would be... I won't be forgetting when the world reopens. Well, that's good. You took the stick out of your ass. Yeah, your parents taught you that video games were bad. Are you following? I mean, you're posting an article on CNN Health. So obviously you believe whatever the fucking CNN and social and media platforms tell you. So you probably fell for the trap of video games are bad and cause violence. Whole spiel. Way to go, parents. Way to go. Man, I suck. Stop right there, criminal scum. <sighs> the benefits of collaborative... Okay, I don't, I'm not going to read the rest of this. It's the same fucking bullshit. Look, if you... If, listen here. If you're a person that plays video games, you know the benefits of it. It's, it's fucking clear as day. Um, wait, what the hell is this? What the heck? Oh, that was weird. I have two displays. Okay. Listen, you know the video games, what the benefits are and what the negatives are. I understand playing too much is a bad thing. Uh, that's that goes without saying like that's not like that's not video games fault okay all right do we ban gambling casinos casinos no because they make companies a fuck ton of money video games do the same thing it's addicting i get it makes companies a fuck ton of thing it's this circle this corp this capital capitalism but gambling makes you broke <laughs> quite a bit makes you go in debt like crazy i know video games can do that but casinos are a much larger scale you can hit the jackpot with lots of money, barely, or you can hit the jackpot of not making money <laughs> very easily. But, you know, video games are, you know, at least from when I grew up, are passion projects, and they're very artsy-fartsy. There are a lot of people, a huge collaborative, and, you know, people weren't trying to swim to you. Now, of course, EA and Activision have their microtransactions, and, of course, other companies do that. But overall, a lot of companies still do it to want you to, out of love and passion for you know, what they choose to do. They want you to have fun. Gambling casinos, they want your money like crazy. And gambling is very, it's a very sinful thing to do. I hate to sound Christian. I'm, not, I'm an agnostic person. But you know, I'll never do gambling just because I don't want to get in that funk. I've done crane game gambling before on a, on a cruise ship. <laughs> I know it sounds really fucking childish. But it's real. Like, that's... And that, it's like a fucking euphoric sense. It's probably because I, I'm just not used to it. But it, it's gambling is a crazy problem. So that's why it's important to do research on these things. Especially with games on that you choose. So these companies don't try to trick you. Because, you know, there are people out there that try to swindle you. I get it. I get it. But, you know, I grew up with video games my entire life. And look how I turned out. A straight white conservative male. Who voted for Trump. Ooh, feel the burn on that one, motherfuckers. Yeah! 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 And that's what Bilbo Baggins hates. What up? So yeah, video games are a good place to come together, play with your friends on the couch, online. You know, it's it, it, the gaming community can be a good place. It also can be a really stupid place because people talk so much mad shit online. 
or these big tech video game companies or these video game journalists think they know fucking everything about everything and they talk out of their asses the whole time. And you just don't see the virtual signal like I do, folks. If you, if you do, then kudos to you. And, uh, you know, just calling out these companies like that from the articles I read before, just fucking get off your fucking high horse. Oh, my God. You're probably way over like 300 pounds and you've probably never done anything outside of your house. You live in your parents' basement bullshitting people like this. Go fucking do some honest work. Get a, get a real fucking job. Oh, Nico, what's a real job? I don't know what I'm doing. A personal trainer, helping people get in shape, changing their health, life, lifestyles to be healthy, mm, saving lives in the long run. I said, and I'm not lying to you when I'm training you. Aha, because my results matter and your results from my routine. So, folks, listen, I'm the snowflake, well-married teenager, Nicola legend. Look, I get it. There's been a lot of hate. There's been a lot of anger in the world. I get it. I'm not saying, like, ooh, let's all work together, blah, blah. But be careful out there, okay? We got a pandemic to worry about. We were so worried about social distancing, and now these rioters make it to where it's not even a thing anymore. So who is the liar? The media that tells you all this government bullshit about social distancing and closing down businesses? Or the people that are angry? Uh, Trying to justify their anger by robbing, burning down buildings, and stealing from you and hurting people. Because of a black guy dying. Mr. Floyd himself. Because of an asshole cop. A one asshole cop. So, pick your poison, okay? Just, you can pick both. Of, be careful, okay? Be careful. If, you're, if there's anybody out there listening and you're in a big city and stuff and you're in the death zone, the dead zone, just be careful, man. Be careful. People would just find ways to attack you. If you thought it was bad walking down a dark alleyway, now it's in broad daylight, not in a dark alleyway. So just be careful. So I've been your host, Negro Legend. I hope you did enjoy. You're always welcome to follow me on the Twitch channel. Check out the YouTube stuff. This is like this is a great comeback to come for the Nico show, but this has been fun. And like I said, check out check out the people I follow on Twitter if you if you're curious. And uh, yeah, do your fucking research. Fact check me on all the gun violence. Okay. Fact check me. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. See you later, folks.